Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start working on our background and our boot screen for our PS1 game. So uh, if you're following along in the text, uh, this is uh, section two, part C, creating a background slash boot screen. Uh, I included both in the same part because they're very similar in how you go about making them. So um, what we want to do, open up your image editing software. Again, I'm using GIMP. And um, I'm going to go to our source files. And um, what I want to show you right now is how to um, remove a, a white or black background, or any background really, uh, from a foreground object. So um, if you can, you, you always want to find your, your foreground object or your logo that already has a transparency. If you can't find it, that's cool. You can do it yourself, but it just takes uh, it takes a long time. So, we're, I'm, but I'm going to show you how to do that because it is important to know. So here is my uh, foreground object here, and you can see here that there's so there's a white background behind Regina. So if we just copied and pasted this image onto our uh, PSP background, uh, you would see the white background on here, and it wouldn't look good. So we're just going to get rid of the white background pretty much and turn it into a transparency. So uh, what we want to do first, and this is in GIMP, if you're using Photoshop or uh, any other software, you just kind of have to fend for yourself because I've, um, I've never really used anything else other than GIMP. So this is how you do it in GIMP. So you're going to click Layer, and then go down here to Transparency, and you're going to click Add Alpha Channel. That's going to add the transparency to this image. And then you're going to go over here to the Fuzzy Select tool. You're going to click that, and you're just going to click anywhere in the white background to select um, the white. And you're just going to press the delete key. Now the checkerboard pattern represents transparency. So we're just going to do that for each section over here. And then there's one right here between her arm. And right offhand that looks pretty good, but we're not finished, unfortunately. So if I zoom in here, you can see along the edge there's still some white outline or residue, whatever you want to call it. And when you import that over onto a dark background, you'll be able to see it, and it's really going to stand out, and it's going to look really bad. So what you need to do is really zoom in close. You, I, I can go up to 800% here. So I can, you know, get down to the pixel level. And you're going to select the eraser tool. And you will set the size down to the lowest setting, which is 1. Which this, this represents 1 pixel. And then come down here where it says hard edge and check that box. So you can see here where my mouse cursor is, uh, that little gray square that, my, that, the, that follows my mouse, that represents 1 pixel. So what you would have to do is go along and, del and just erase every pixel, every white pixel that you see, or almost white. Um, now, there is some dithering here. You can kind of see where these right here aren't completely white. They're, I don't know, there's some some form of red from her hair here. So um, you, could, you could probably safely erase this entire line and you'd be okay. But you don't want to erase the actual image content. You're just trying to erase the white outline. And you would do that over the entire foreground object that you downloaded. So I'm going ahead and tell you right now that this takes a long time. But if you do it right, your image will look very good. So uh, if I just go up here to 800%, you can see we have this white background here um, on, the gun, on our gun holster. So you just click and drag, and you would just uh, erase some of these um, white looking pixels. It'd be something like that. And so uh, you can you can just kind of go around and just um, erase the uh, the very light color pixels that are almost white. And so you'd be left with a, a, a a smoother background that wouldn't, sh you know, wouldn't look bad on uh, on your PSP background. So also watch out for things like this. Um, 
you see their 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 patterns are kind of broken right here because uh, this pixel right here is actually it has color content. Um, you can kind of see by the plus shape here, so that's actually color. We, want, we don't want that there, so we're going to delete that one. And there's also the same thing right here. Um, uh, right here in the middle, we're just going to delete that pixel too. So kind of keep an eye out for that kind of thing too. So we, we just did the gun holster as an example. You have to go along with the entire outline of your foreground object to make it look good. So once you've done that, um, you'll have something that looks like this. Uh, this is this is this one has already been done, and if I just zoom in, um, see that this has already been finished. Uh, her shoulders already been done. Her hair has already been finished up. So, yeah, this is just one I've done to save some time. So, yeah. This is that would that's how you would um, remove uh, a background color from your foreground object. So once you get done with that, um, go ahead and drag and drop your PSP background into GIMP, and we're going to resize the image. So in GIMP, you go image scale image, and we're going to break the chain here so that we can edit the width and the height separately, and we're going to change this to 480 by uh, 243 and click scale and our image is scaled and you can see that right here in this uh, the window the status bar so now um, I'm going to take my uh, foreground object that I uh, removed the background from and I'm just going to drag and drop it in here and as you can see uh, it's too big to fit in the um, background so I'm going to come over here and click the uh, scale image tool and we're just going to click on our uh, layer over here this is the military facility that's our background layer Regina edit that's our um, current uh, foreground layer so we're just going to click on that and we can now use the uh, this box here to scale our image down to what we want so um, this uh, the link the chain right here is together so that uh, the width and the height will uh, stay proportionate to each other. So I'm just going to click any of the arrows, any of the down arrows to resize this image. And I'm just going to keep uh, resizing it and dragging it to the position I want. And that looks pretty close right there. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click scale and um, there's my edit. And now um, I'm going to click back on the background layer and I'm going to come over here to my logo. And um, this Dino Crisis logo does have a transparency so I don't have to remove that which is always a time saver. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into GIMP. And let's see, how do I want this to look? I'm going to probably going to put this about right here and I want to shrink it just a tad so I'm going to click that and uh, the chain is linked together so it's going to be proportionate and I'm just going to shrink it just a little bit that's actually too much I'm going to shrink it about right there and I'm going to move it and I want the logo to be, to be above Regina here so with this uh, with the logo selected I can come up here to layer stack and I can move that I can raise that layer up so it's going to be above her leg here so this is a pretty close uh, example of how I want my background to look um, I'm going to move a few things around I'm going to move Regina uh, around a little bit I'm going to move my logo around a little bit to to uh, fine-tune my image here but this is a rough example of how I would want my background to look so I went ahead and made a few changes. I just kind of moved things around a little bit to um, suit myself. So the next step is to come over here to uh, image. And we're going to go here and click flatten image. And that's what that's going to do. It's just going to move all of our layers down into a single layer. And then we're going to go over here to file, new. And we just want to make a new template. 
and we want this template to we don't we we want it to not be um, 480 by 243. We want it to be 480 by 272. And then down here, advanced options. Um, if you want to change background color, just we're just going to change it to white, and we'll click OK. So here's our new uh, a new template. Um, now we're going to come back to our background we just almost finished making. We're going to click uh, Select and click All, and we're going to click uh, Edit and then Copy. And we're going to come over here to our new template and then Edit and Paste. And now we're going to go over here and uh, select the Alignment tool right here. And we're going to, uh, well, first we need to uh, right click on this floating selection pasted layer and we'll click to new layer. So that's going to create that new layer. Then uh, click your selection tool, click on the layer that you want to move. And then I'm going to click um, this button right here that's going to align it to the top edge of um, the template. Click that and it's going to move it up. Now we want to click file, open and navigate to your tool pack. So mine's on the desktop right here. And I'm going to go to templates and then I'm going to open background template. Click open. And you see here we have a black border uh, with just PlayStation. So we're going to click select all and then edit copy. And then in our, our, new, our new template with our pasted background you're going to select the background here and we're going to click edit paste and we want to since there are uh, oh, right click on that floating selection click to new layer and we have our new layer we have our um, black border on top of our background but we want it at the bottom so we're going to click uh, or we're, we're click the alignment tool and then click on your uh, newly pasted layer which is this black logo bar right here click on that and then click on the bottom arrow right here and that moves your logo to the bottom of your um, background so now you can come up here to image and then flatten image and that again that merges all the layers down into a single layer so you're almost done there's one more step what we want to do is we want to make sure that our background that we made and the template that we inserted we want to make sure that they both seam up perfectly that there's no uh, empty space in between them sometimes there is so we want to zoom in really cl really close I'm gonna go 800 percent and I'm just going to scroll down here to the bottom and as you can see there is no white area or any discoloration between the two. It is a perfect seam um, between the two images. So that is what we want. So now you can click File, Export, and then I'm going to save mine to Desktop and then Dino Crisis Final Files. And then I'm going to name this uh, capital PIC 1.png. You have to save it as a PNG file or else it's not going to work. Click export and just click export again. And we are done with our background image. So I'm going to close out of all of this, close all, discard. We don't need any of that. So if we open up our final files here, you can see we have our pick1.png, and if we just open that up, this is our final background for our PSP. So we're done with that. Um, now if you want to, uh, there is already a boot screen for your PSP, and it's, it's located in templates, in, your, in the tool pack in templates, so open templates up. And it's just the standard Sony Computer Entertainment um, with a white background logo. If you don't want to use that, that's perfectly fine. I just included it because that's just 
kind of it's just standard. That's what I use. Uh, if you don't want to use that, you can use um, any any image you want. Um, excuse me. All you have to do is just import that. When you, you, know, you import the image into into GIMP, click Image, Scale Image, and just scale that image to 480 by 272, and then export it as a PNG file, and you're done. Very simple to do. So that concludes this tutorial on creating your background image and boot screen. Stay tuned for the next tutorial on creating your um, icon image.